The offboarding page under the employee admin section works as a dashboard for you to control the exit process of your employees. You can monitor all the exit application and take required actions from here. There are two tabs on this page, Monitor and Exited Employees. The Monitor tab allows you to take control of your employee exit. At a glance, you can view the basic status of all the exit application and take action accordingly. The Exited Employee tab displays a list of all the employees who have left the organization and whose full and final settlement is done. The Monitor tab divided into three columns, Pre-Clearance, Clearance and Post-Clearance. The Pre-Clearance column displays all the exit applications on which an action is pending or is not yet approved. The Clearance column displays the application for which the exit checklist is initiated by the employee has not yet left the organization. The post-clearance column displays all the card of employees who have left the organization and pending full and final settlement. The pre-clearance section allows you to view each exit application for whom the exit checklist is not yet triggered. Click here to view details. Each card displays basic information such as exit, last working day and status. The card has two types of exit, voluntary and involuntary. Voluntary exit means the employee has applied for resignation but the employee's manager is yet to approve it. Involuntary exit means the employee is leaving the organization involuntarily. This can be due to many reasons such as death, any personal emergency or insufficient performance. This control panel helps the admin to submit an exit behalf of an employee. Now let's see how to initiate a voluntary exit behalf of an employee. Click here on the plus icon from the search employee search box Select the employee on whose behalf you want to apply for resignation. The page now displays the selected employee details. From the type of exit drop-down list, select voluntary. The resignation form appears. Select the submission date of resignation from here. Select the required last working day. After you select submission date and the required last working day, the tentative last working day and shortfall days appears automatically. These days are calculated with respect to your company's notice period policy. Select the reason for the employee resignation here. Enter the employee's alternate email address and alternate mobile number. Enter the remarks if any. Click attach to attach any resignation related documents or images. Click submit to apply for resignation. A confirmation pop-up appears. Click confirm to submit the employee resignation application. A success message appears on this page. Once the application is accepted from the last level reviewer, the card would either directly go to the clearance stage automatically or admin can initiate the clearance manually from here. Now let's see how to initiate an involuntary resignation for an employee from this section. Click on the plus icon, select the employee, select involuntary from the type of exit drop down. Fill in the details, click here to attach any exit related documents or images. Finally, click on submit. A confirmation pop-up appears. Click on Confirm to submit the employee resignation application. You can now view the selected employee card on the offboarding page. There is no need of further approvals for the same. Hence, you can directly initiate the clearance process from the offboarding page pre-clearance column. Simply click Initiate Clearance. Initiate Clearance pop-up appears. Click Confirm to initiate the clearance to the selected employee. The card is now displayed under the clearance column. For voluntary resignation, initiate clearance CTA would not be available until the resignation workflow is completed. With that, we come to an end. I hope you found this video useful. Please watch our video title Admin Dashboard for Exit Checklist Monitoring to know more about clearance and post-clearance column on your offboarding dashboard page. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.